All right, looking at matrix, <clears throat> excuse me, matrix multiplication in this lesson. Um, a few quick notes about matrix multiplication. Um, let's suppose that we have matrix A and B, and A is a 2 by 3, and B is a 3 by 5. Um, if I were to multiply A times B, matrix A times matrix B, um, well, that would be a, um, A would be a 2 by 3, and B would be a 3 by 5. You can only multiply two matrices if the inside two numbers match. So if the columns of A match the rows of B, then you can, multi you can multiply the two matrices. So if these match, you can multiply. That's crap writing, but there you go. If, you, if those match, you can multiply. And the answer is going to be a 2 by 5. So my answer matrix is a 2 by 5 matrix. So you can look at the dimensions of the two matrices that you want to multiply. If the inside numbers match, then you can multiply them, and your answer is going to be a 2 by 5 or whatever the outside two numbers are. Uh, if I tried to do B times A, however, now I have a 3 by 5, which is B, times a 2 by 3. And if you look at that, the inside two numbers don't match. 5 and 2 are not the same. That means we cannot multiply. So that's the first bit with matrix multiplication, just to know whether or not you can multiply the matrices in question. Um, let's do a specific example. Um, and when you're multiplying, so here I give you two specific matrices, and when I multiply A and B, like I want to do A times B, you multiply the rows of A times the column of B. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. Um, so I have matrix A, which is a 2 by 2. I have matrix B, which is two rows and three columns. The inside numbers do match. Those match. That means I can go on and I can continue multiplying these. And I know my answer is going to be a 3 by 3, or a 2 by 3. Now, I like to give myself a lot of room when I'm working these out. Maybe not that much. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of room to work this out. And I know that this is going to be a 2 by 3. So I'm going to have an entry right here. I'm going to have an, something right here. I'm going to have something right here. And then down here also, we're going to have a 2 by 3 answer. Okay, I said that when you multiply, you multiply the rows of A times the columns of B. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your matrix A, and you're going to look at the top row, and then you're going to look at matrix B. You're going to look at the first column, and we're going to multiply row 1 by column 1. So I'm going to do row, whoa, writing in dots. I'm going to do row 1 by column 1 first, row 1, column 1, and the answer is going to go in the place of row 1, column 1 in my answer matrix. And the way we do it is I do 1 times 1. I multiply the top numbers, the first numbers of each, 1 times 1, and I will add 3 times 5, which is 15. And then I will go on to my next column in matrix B. Now I'm going to do... 1 times 0, and this is row 1 and column 2. So now I'm doing column 2, which means I'm going to put it in row 1, column 2 over here. So 1 times 0, and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And then I will do row 1 times column 3. 1 times 2 plus 3 times 3. And then we'll add those together. And then we'll... I've done all through my top row. I've done row 1. Now I'm going to start over, except I'll use row 2, and I'll start back with column 1. So negative 2 times 1, and then 4 times 5. And then I'll move over to column 2. Do the same thing. Negative 2 times 0, and 4 times negative 1. And then last one, negative 2 times negative 2 plus 4 times 3, and then we finally will just add those numbers together. 1 and 15 is 16, 0 minus 3, 2 plus 9, negative 20, or negative 2 and 20 is 18, 0 minus 4, and negative 4 and 12 is 8. And that is your final answer right here. 
code. That's how you multiply two matrices. It's rows of the first times the columns of the second. So it's rows, then columns. Exactly how you name the matrix. You name your matrix by rows, then columns. You multiply by rows of the first, columns of the second, and you drink an RC cola while you do it. So there we go. Uh, let's do a couple of other examples. I think I have four of them. Um, so here I want to do matrix B times matrix A, and I'll give you three matrices up here. But here's matrix B and matrix A. And I'm going to look at the dimensions first. This is a one, two, three rows by one, two columns. And matrix A is one, two, three rows by one column. And this is really nice because the columns of B do not match up with the rows of A, which means we cannot multiply these. So there is no answer for this. This is not possible. Well, that was quick. So there's how we would multiply B times A. You can't. So we just say not possible. We draw a triangle, man, because we're happy we didn't have to do any arithmetic. And we'll move on. Okay, let's try, uh, let's go the other way. I did, wait, what did I just do? I just did B times A. Okay, now I'm going to do A times B. Same two matrices, except I'm doing the opposite order. So A is a 3 by 1 matrix. B is a 1, 2, 3 by, wow, I really botched this up, didn't I? 2 matrix. Did I do it right the first time? Yeah, and you can't multiply this either. Haha, <laughs> whoops. Okay, well, again... These two don't match up. I should have done these before I started recording. These two numbers don't match up. So again, this is impossible. I swear, eventually, we will do one that works. But hey, we're happy again because we didn't have to do anything mindless. But we better have one in a second that actually works out. I'm going to be mad if it doesn't. All right, uh, so those you cannot multiply A and B in any way. Let's try this one. Hopefully, this one will work. Let's see. Now I'm doing... Matrix C, which is a 3 by 3, by matrix A, which is a 3 by 1. And ha-ha, finally we can do one. The inside numbers do match. And I will have an answer that will be 3 by 1. My answer is going to be 3 by 1. So uh, let's say I need room for three rows and one column. I'm not going to need a whole lot of room with that. And uh, I like to go ahead and have my um, little blanks filled in or drawn out for me so I can see what I need to fill in. And then I will start with the first row of C, and I'll multiply it by the first column, which is only one column, of A. So we can do rows by columns, and I'll do 1 times 2. Ah, I can't write in dots. Plus negative two times negative one times five plus zero times zero. And then I'll move down and I'll do the next row times the only column of A. Two times two plus four times five plus three times zero. And then I'll move down and I'll do the last column. Negative three times two plus zero times five plus zero time or two times zero. And then we will add those numbers together. And we'll get a final answer of 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. 4 plus 20 is 24. And negative 6. So there is the answer of C times A. And there's one more example I wanted to do. Uh, do C times B. Okay, well, C is a 3 by 3. B is a 3 by 2. Okay, well, that means I can multiply these. The inside numbers do match. I was supposed to be dotted. Oh, no, it's not letting me change my pen. It did this the other day. Hang on a sec. Okay, now let's try it. Um, my inside two numbers do match, so I can multiply, and I will have a 3 by 2 answer. So I need to leave room to have three rows and two columns. So three rows and two columns give myself plenty of room, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my blanks for my entries. There we go. And now I'm going to start doing the multiplication. So I'm going to look at row 1 of C, and I'm going to start by multiplying it by column 1 of B. So row 1 times column 1 is 1 times 1, mm -hmm. plus negative 1 times 0, plus 0 times 2. And then I'll do uh, row 1 times, geez, that's not what I wanted, 
Here we go. Row 1 times column 2, so 1 times 3. Negative 1 times 4 is minus 4, and 0 times 0. And then I move down to row 2 and column 1. 2 times 1, 4 times 0, and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Then I'll move to column 2. Again, hey, 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 there we go. 2 times 3, 4 times 4, and then 3 times 0. I like the zeros, but zeros are always nice. And then finally, we will do column row 3 by the last two columns. Negative 3 times 1, 0 times 0, and 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then my last row times column is going to be negative 3 and 3, negative 3 times 3, 0 and 0. And then we'll add those together to get our final answer. 1, 3 minus 4 is negative 1. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. 6 plus 16 is 22. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. Negative 9 plus 0 plus 0. So there is our answer when we multiply C times B. So there we go, matrix multiplication. And hope that makes sense.